Coach Mark from Tackle Trading. It is my honor to bring you the Decoding Buffett video series. And in this video, we're going to discuss the powerful concept of moat. Now, moats were drawing upon this analogy from the past. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, when you had a castle, if you wanted to defend that castle, you built a moat around it. This moat protected you against defenders, made it hard to penetrate the walls. And Warren Buffett draws upon this analogy of a moat in describing the type of company he wants to invest in, something that can protect itself from competitors, making it difficult for those competitors to take away business from the company. Warren Buffett, who has popularized the concept of moat, has said the bigger the moat, the more valuable the castle. Warren Buffett prioritizes companies that have unbreachable moats. He wants a company, when he invests in that company, to have a distinct competitive advantage. And he prioritizes these type of companies. Companies where it is really hard to get into that business. The barrier moats are what we refer to these two. Companies that have a patent for a very long time. Something where you can't compete against it, right? Unique products and services. Something that it might be difficult to switch from. He emphasizes this word unbreachable in this quote where he says, I look for economic castles protected by unbreachable moats. My daughter has always liked money. She's always been looking for ways to make money. And one of her early ideas was, I'm going to go sell a drink. I'm going to go sell drinks out there on the sidewalk and people give me money, right? She saw other people do it. She thought it was a good idea herself. Well, I saw an opportunity to teach a lesson, even if it caused a little conflict in the short term. I went and opened up my own lemonade stand near hers. I undercut her. She wasn't very happy with it. She was happy when I shared the money down the road with her. But I wanted to teach her the concept of the value of her time and how if she invests that into something that doesn't have sustainability, then she's just kind of wasting her time. A lemonade stand has no moat. Anyone can open it. It's easy to get into. When we're looking for investments in the real world, we need to follow the advice of Uncle Warren here. Find wonderful companies that have sustained competitive advantages and be willing to pay a fair price for those wonderful companies. Now, unlike the lemonade stand, American Express is an example of a fantastic moat. Now, think about credit card companies. I want to go start a credit card company. All right, well, I got to get the merchants, right? But no merchant is going to want me unless I have a lot of customers. Well, I go to the customers. Well, no customer is going to want my card if I don't already have the merchants lined up. The, the moat is gigantic. The barrier to entry is massive. It's a fantastic example of a unbreachable moat. It's the reason Buffett favors American Express. And when he identifies one of these companies, well, our favorite holding period is forever, as he says. So in constructing your investing moat, we are going to break these down in this video series into four categories. One, we're going to start with M, margin of safety investing below the intrinsic value of a company to minimize risk. Then we're going to go to O, owner's mentality, treating each investment as if you were owning the business. A, attributes, analyzing the precise fundamental factors that contribute to the width of a moat. And then T, total cash flow, analyzing the company's capacity to produce reliable cash flow. When we do this, we reduce risk because risk comes from not knowing what you're doing, as Warren Buffett says. Margin of safety involves the fundamental metrics of a company. Warren Buffett does his research and he analyzes the company. He analyzes, is it a good company? Is it a company at good value? And he uses a number of fundamental metrics in this analysis. Through the process of this analysis, he can determine not only is it a quality company, but is its current price one that offers value? Price is what you pay, value is what you get. 
with owner's mentality, you are thinking like a business owner. You do not need Warren Buffett's advice if you are managing a four-day trade. But like Warren Buffett, you are going to enter in with a long-term perspective, and you are going to manage that investment along those lines. You are hiring the management of a company, the board of directors, the CEO. They work for you when you buy that stock. You are going to prioritize this long-term vision. You are going to analyze the management of a company, and that stock is then going to work for you. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, it will work until you die, as Warren Buffett says. In analyzing the attributes for a moat, you don't want to be on foot. You want to be in the rocket ship in this race. You want to identify the competitive advantages of a company the specific factors that give that company a competitive edge. You're going to analyze the fundamental strengths. You're going to evaluate metrics. You're going to evaluate its brand recognition, other unique assets that contribute to the company's moat. And you're going to look for differentiated aspects of the company that set it apart, creating lasting value. Examples of these can be customer loyalty or cost advantages. If you're patient, if you do this process, identify these individual attributes, well, as Warren Buffett says, the market itself is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. And then finally, we're going to cover total cash flow. We're going to analyze the cash flow capacity of a company and the reliability of that cash flow over time. We're going to discuss dividends and buybacks and how those dividends and buybacks impact the overall cash flow. Then we're going to look at the ability to generate additional on income through covered call potential, the ability to generate this income through renting out our stock. We do not want to just be reliant on the growth of a company. Through total cash flow, we want to analyze the ability of the company to generate income itself and our ability to generate income on the stock. We don't just want to rely on growth. Warren Buffett said, never depend on a single income. Make an investment to create a second source. Through this whole process, what we are doing is we are making an argument for this company. When we're analyzing whether it's the cash flow or the management or the individual fundamental factors or diving into metrics, this whole process is us to ourselves analyzing the company and making an argument why this is a fantastic company over time, why this company will thrive over time. That's what this process of identifying a company's mode is all about. And if we go through this process, we understand the company. We're within our circle of competence when we do that. We understand that this is in fact a great investment and what price makes it a great value. We know what we're doing if we complete this process. Thus, we eliminate risk because for Warren Buffett, Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. In our next video, we're going to dive deeper into the concept of margin of safety and those fundamental metrics Warren Buffett uses in analyzing a company. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and look forward to the next video.